Hello folks, my name is Jenna from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom and today I have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com. Again, that's www.GoldenStateTimes.com. And as you guys can read by the headline, the Democrats have reached a deal with the financial company to get President Trump's financial records. So the Democrats have been suing since 2019 to get President Trump's financial records from the company Mazar. And now they have reached a deal so that company can turn over the documents over to a House Democrat committee. So this, again, comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com. Again, that's www.GoldenStateTimes.com. And it says, House committee reaches deal to get President Trump's financial records. A House committee seeking financial records from President Trump has reached an agreement that ends litigation on the matter and requires an accounting firm to turn over some of the material. It says the long running case began back in April of 2019 when the House Committee on Oversight and Reform first subpoenaed the records from President Trump's then accounting firm, Mazars. The committee cited testimony from Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, that is said that raised questions about the president's representation of his financial affairs when it came to seeking loans and paying taxes. So according to the Democrats, President Trump will inflate the prices of his properties in order to get good loans. But then he would deflate the prices of his properties in order to get better tax rates. That's what they're claiming in this lawsuit. And that's why they want his financial documents. Under the agreement, Trump has agreed to end his legal challenges to the subpoena and Mazars USA has agreed to produce responsive documents to the committee as expeditiously as possible. According to Representative Carolyn Maloney, Democrat of New York, who is the head of that committee. So Trump can no longer block it. And Mazars USA has to hand over the documents ASAP. Representative Maloney said in a statement, quote, After numerous court victories, I am pleased that my committee has now reached an agreement to obtain key financial documents from Donald Trump as he fought for many years to hide them from Congress. The settlement over Mazars follows a July decision by a federal court of appeals in Washington that narrowed what records Congress is entitled to obtain. The court said that the committee should be given records pertaining to financial ties between foreign countries and Trump or any of his businesses from 2007 to 2000 and I'm sorry 2017 I apologize 2017 to 2018 the appeals court also ordered Mazars to turn over documents between November 2016 to 2018 relating to the Trump company that held the lease granted by the federal government for Trump's International Hotel, located between the White House and the Capitol. So they want information on that, even though he doesn't own that property anymore. He sold it, but they still want information on it, right? They don't care. In the decision, the court said Trump's financial records would, be, would advance the committee's consideration of ethics reform legislation across all three of its investigative tracks, including on presidential ethics and conflicts of interest, presidential financial disclosures, and presidential adherence to constitutional safeguards against foreign interference and undue influence. 
every single thing that we just said right now that the fake news media, the Democrats are claiming is false. But they don't care. They just want to keep going. The House investigation dates February 2019 when Trump's former personal attorney Cohen testified to the committee that Trump had a history of misrepresenting the values of his assets to gain favorable loans and tax benefits. Mazars earlier this year said that it had cut ties with Trump and warned that financial statements the firm had prepared for Trump should no longer be relied upon by anyone doing business with him. So I don't know how difficult it was for him to get another financial institution to take over his finances. Another House committee, the House Ways and Means Committee, has been seeking Trump's tax returns and waging its own litigation. In that case, the three-judge appellate court panel agreed last month with the lower court's decision in favor of Congress and the Treasury Department I'm sorry, uh, agreed with in favor of Congress and to force the Treasury Department to provide the tax returns to the committee. And I I don't know if you guys remember, but during Trump's time in office, they did the exact same thing. They made that same request. And Treasury Secretary Nuchin said, no, there's no reason for you guys to get Trump's tax returns. So he blocked it. But once Biden came in, they made the request again and they approved it. Then Trump sued to try to block it. And now we're at that point again. The House Ways and Means Committee is about to get President Trump's tax returns. Now, we don't know exactly what years we're talking about of tax returns. Recent, last 10 years, or maybe... Like what happened on CBS, was it? With Maddow, that supposedly she had information about uh, Trump's tax returns. That supposedly she had a bombshell report. That she somehow got a hold of three years worth of tax returns that show that Trump paid an immense amount of tax instead of paying no tax. It blew up in her face. So who knows what information they're about to get or what they're going to do with that information other than just try to pressure Trump into not running for office in 24. Now the fake news media is saying that Trump is actually thinking about postponing his announcement of running for office. He's going to postpone it till after the midterms because don't forget he was supposed to come out and announce that he was going to run for president in 2024 right now in September. But now they're saying, wait, no, Trump is going to postpone that and he's not going to announce his run for office until after the midterms. Something that the Republican National Committee, the RNC, wanted him to do in the first place. Don't forget that the RNC threatened, uh, they threatened Trump and they told him, do not announce that you're running for president before the midterms. Or we will stop paying for your legal fees. The RNC is paying for every single one of Trump's lawyers for this lawsuit to the Democrat committees, to the lawsuit regarding the classified information, to the lawsuit regarding his businesses, to the 20 plus states suing him for not paying his bills. All of those lawsuits, all of those lawyers, the RNC is paying for out of pocket. Trump is not paying a penny for any of those lawyers. So let's see what happens, because if the RNC stops paying for Trump's lawyers, then where will Trump end up? So let us know what you guys think in this whole situation. 
What do you guys think about this whole situation? All of these lawsuits from all over the place. The Democrats are going to be able to get a hold of his financial records from Mazars. And also his tax returns. What do you guys think about this whole situation? Let us know in the comment section below. If you guys missed any of our previous videos, it should be coming up on your screen. If you found this report informative in any way, then click the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe and click that notification bell. Also, visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's www.goldenstatetimes.com. And I hope to see you on the next one. But until then, thank you so much, great patriots, for tuning in. Have a blessed rest of your day. God bless every single one of you guys. And I will see you on the next report. But until then, my name is Jen. And I'll see you soon. Peace.